How's it going YouTube? Today we're back with a brand new video. Um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a job that I've done um, this past week. So this job, I, I had a phone call from um, the, the lady that I've done this job for. Um, she was she was pretty just distraught. Um, she had a plaster come and skim the ceiling. Um, and about two and a half, three hours after he left, the ceiling started to bubble. <clears throat> um, in very certain spots, it started to bubble. You'll see here, I'm actually scraping, scraping the, the sort of loose stuff off. Um, it started to bubble along um, cracks in the previous ceiling that hadn't been scrim taped. Um, and so she 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 rung me anyway. The guy that had done it refused to come back and fix it. He said that there was there was nothing actually wrong with the ceiling and that she was being fussy. Um, when I get back to the ceiling, it was it was honestly in a state. Um, I've never seen finishing like this. Um, it looks okay from from this angle, but up close, there was. There was pits, there was um, bumps, lumps, like big scores out of it. Like it was just really, really terrible. Um, the girl, the girl says that um, that he came, and she she says that um, he had painted. I was basically asking her to try to find out what what he had done, whether I had to strip the whole ceiling off or not. Um, and she said that he painted some white stuff on the ceiling, which is, I'm um, assuming was SBR. Um, and then he skimmed it. Um, he, he, um, never scrim taped any of the, the original cracks that were in the ceiling. Um, and the, the girl actually said the ceiling was in better shape before, um, he actually done the work which is mental that um but yeah so he he refused to come back um the the lady i went and looked at this job and give her a price um my price was i think it was a hundred pound more than the original quote that she had got um she, she had actually paid this guy in full which meant that she she, had, she was going to have to um pay for this job twice I got got the number of the guy and and tried to contact him about it, but there was nothing. Um, he wouldn't answer. Wouldn't uh, message me back. So, um, so I so I actually give this girl a, a discount on the ceiling. Um, I I felt pretty bad. Just because the the state it it had been left in, you know, um, but yeah. So basically, this is us skimming over this crappy work um there was the the bits that you can see there they were loose um but they were they were the only bits that were loose i'd scraped it, this all off and then went around the whole ceiling um checking to make sure there was nothing else boast um any cracks and stuff i went and filled like here you can see me f um putting out a line of, of uh, scrum tape. And this was actually a crack that had reformed. Um, this this was like a week and a half on from when the original plaster plastered the ceiling. Um, and I've, um, it, it basically, she says that it started cracking almost instantly. Um, the bubbles came out almost instantly. Um, 
and she'd, she'd run to get the guy back and he was just having none of it. So, <clears throat> so we're here for um, a reskim. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of time, like realistically, what I should have done here was reboard the ceiling. Um, just because I, I don't really know, realistically, I don't know how he prepped the ceiling before. Um, I know it was a smooth painted ceiling. Um, but other than that, that's all I know. Um, and I'm sort of just trusting that, um, that his, that his prep of the ceiling was okay. Um, the 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 bits of the ceiling that I didn't take down, I put a real tight coat over them so I wasn't adding any more weight. Um and the the heavier bits, obviously then I'm, I'm filling them out to the same level um first and then I actually just first coated all the same level, um, doing the best of the can, not to cover the dog. You can see just underneath me are there's a, a dog lying on the sofa. He wasn't for moving, so being being very careful not, not to cover and, and plaster. Um Usually usually I wouldn't touch this job, you know. It's just that I actually felt sorry for the for the girl. Um she was relatively old, couldn't really walk very well. Um and um yeah, just felt bad. The I'm using the the I, I had a comment on one of the videos um to ask me what, what plaster I'm actually using in in these jobs and I'm actually gonna do a, a video rundown of um all all the pl the finishing plasters I use. Um but I'm gonna like I'm gonna edit it so that the, the I'm putting like pictures of the, the stuff that we use, whatever. Um but on the ceiling we used um SBR. We SBR the whole ceiling and then we used it's a plaster we have here in England and or in Ireland. I'm not sure whether uh, the spreads have it in England or not, but it's called uh Carlite Ultra Finish. So, so the, the the company do two separate kinds of plaster. They do the ultra finish, which is the one that I use. Um, it's a blue bag. It's satin time is three hours. Um, and then they do another um plaster. It's just called uh Carly um Carly finish, which is a red bag. Um, and it takes it takes about uh, I think it's like four hours. The set completely, um. So this one sets a little bit, a little bit faster. Um, the other one, the red bag, it is. It's uh more. It's more coarse, um, like grainy. This one isn't grainy at all. The other one I find to be really super grainy. So, um, I sort of stay away from it. I did use it for a long time, and uh, until. until um, the builder's yard that I used started stocking this stuff instead and, and once I changed to be honest I, I would have never went back I sort of I would have went between depending on where the job was the the carlite finish the red bag or um, British gypsum multi finish which is the orange bags um, and then so, sometimes every now and again I would use board finish you know but um yeah, this this grey stuff I find honestly is the the best plaster. It's um the best plaster I've ever used. It's very forgiving. Um, it takes a long time to actually start turning hard. Um, so it 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 gives you a good solid bit of time to play with it. A lot of the other plasters like they're they're sort of starting to to, to go hard. And then they sit at that stage for like, you know, an hour or two. Where this sits first and then sets hard. Um, and it just gives you enough time to get it nice and smooth and sort of play with it before it sets. Um, if, now obviously that's, if you're going over, if you're going over like the, the, the perfect, um, the, the, the perfect background. Um, sometimes, Sometimes you'll get 
heavy suction or even medium suction and if you're only PVA in it like it'll set pretty quick but you know sort of every plaster will do that I'm now applying my second coat um, this second coat you'll notice that the stuff actually goes a lot further um, and back to the bucket a hell of a lot less and the reason for this is that in this second coat I'm spreading this super thin like as thin as I can get it um, and then I'm not using as much um, and especially over over these bits where um, the other plaster had skimmed you know I'm trying to keep the as much weight off it as, as possible so that's the reason um, I'm doing that I had I actually broke one of my trials so this this video is slightly different, well it will be the same but it was a slightly different way of finishing um, this ceiling I actually trialed like I think I trialed it like six times um, number one I, I wanted to make sure that it was a nice finish um, but second of all the my I broke my um, my cutting trowel is what I call it, which is basically just a 14 inch um, Marshalltown uh, Prima shape, I think you, you call it. It's like a, it's a partially worn in they call it, but you, you couldn't finish with it. It's way too, too uh, it's not sharp enough. Um, so, so basically like I've explained before, I use it for cutting the plaster. So, um, when the plaster hits a certain stage, I'll use that. I'll I'll use lots of pressure and lots of water, and cut any lumps and bumps out of the ceiling. Um, if you're if you're not going to do that, the the and was what I do here. The other option is to trial it more. Um, so this is a this trial that I use for putting on. Um, this is an eighteen inch. Marshall Town, a uh, Prima shape. Um, it's just the bigger version of the cotton trial that I use, but it, but it's it's hard to um, close the ceiling in perfectly with it. So what you have to do is you have to go over it, you know, multiple times. Um, and and everybody learning how to plaster should realistically be doing this anyway. You should be. If you're if you're learning the plaster, you should be using one trial, a rigid a rigid, and I would say probably you know fourteen inch at the biggest, and you should be going from your very first hawk full put on with that trial, um, right through till you're finished, um, and and once you can completely finish with one trial, then start adding trials in, um, I've actually. You know, it's only like a recent thing in the last load of years I've started adding other tools to my, you know, toolbox type thing. Um, bef before this, all I really ever had with me was a an assortment of small tools, a hook, a trowel, a float, and a water brush. Um, and that was all I carried. Now, now I have, now I have, um, so I have my flexi trowel, I have this trowel that you see me putting on with, and then I have a cutting trowel. Um, and then I have um, a sponge float, a speed skim. I still have my assortment of small tools, midget trials, um, water brush. And then I have a, a separate floating bag. In the floating bag, I have a wooden float, um, one of the plastic floats. I have um, the, wee, the wee small floats for stow. Um, I have an eye bar for uh, K-Rend. I have everything, you know, I've added loads of different t tools to my, my kit. Um, and, and you know, it, 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 it makes life easier. There's, there's no doubt about that. Having all those different kinds of, you know, separate tools, it, 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 it makes life a lot, lot easier, a lot easier. And, um, it means, it means that you're you're not putting as much stress and strain on your body, um, so.
But if if you if you're gonna learn, learn with the bare minimum, one trial. That's it. Start to finish. I uh, use you, you, the trial for um, a separate trial for sand cement. Uh, I wouldn't be using my skimming trial. I wouldn't be using my skimming trial for sand cement. Um, it wouldn't be be something I would do. Um, but yeah, so if you're enjoying the video. Could you think about hitting that um, subscribe button for me? Um, if you if you like the video, uh, hit hit the um, like button as well, and leave a little comment. Um, all the comments and likes actually go a very long way. Uh, YouTube, their algorithms um, sort of push your video forward. The more interaction you get with, so. Um, if you could do that, it would be brilliant. Um, Ninety. One percent of people that watch these videos aren't subscribed. So if you're one of those people, just hit the wee subscribe button underneath, uh, and you'll get lots more uh, plaster and content from me. Um, also in the description you'll find um all my links. So you'll have the link to my Facebook page. Um, that's my Facebook business page for um searching or plastering. If if you want a job done, you live in, in sort of the Northern Ireland area, um, hit me up there. Um, if you want to just see, I do a lot more jobs than the videos that I post. So there's like before and after for, uh, photos of all those jobs. You can go on and have a look at that. Um, I'm also on Instagram. We'll find all the same stuff. And then I have a separate um, TikTok um, channel where I'll post like short videos and stuff on there. So if you just want to go and check that out, feel free. Um, I also have my Amazon affiliate links in the description. So every tool that I use, that you see me using now, uh, I have a link that will bring you to Amazon where you can buy those tools. Um, I get a small percentage of, um, of that money when you buy a tool. Um, it doesn't cost you anymore and it helps support me. Even if you don't buy the tool that you click on, if you follow the link and go on to buy just something else that you would have bought anyway, um, I'll still get a, a small percentage of that. So um, that'll also support me. And then if you want to, to, to support me directly, um, you can go on to... Uh, um, I have... Uh, a buy me coffee link and i also have patreon uh, where i'm going to be posting um podcasts um all that sort of stuff um extra content and you'll be able to get that there so yeah check check out all my my links in the description much appreciated so you can you can see now here um i'm usually at this stage i would be using the flexi trial but as you can see here, we're actually a step behind. Um, and there's also a lot of a lot of this um, video that I've cut out. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just hitting it again with this big trial. Um, I'm trying to make it as smooth and as flat as possible. Um, I, I, I always do that. I make it as smooth as, as, as flat as I can. Um, just before you use your flexi because your flexi will make the ceiling look absolutely perfect um, but it, it contours till the shape of the ceiling so it looks perfect but um, if you actually you know if you were to put like a, a level on it or something you, you would see you would see that there's like lots of um, like bumps and dips and stuff in it so that's why you get it right with your steel trial first before <laughs> You ever put your flexi anywhere near it um also just before i shot this bit of the video um i run the ceiling the other way as well so i instead of going from left to right i want from uh the window to the back wall there um and the reason we cross trial is that um so sometimes when you go the same way over the ceiling over and over and over again it can leave like um mm -hmm. sort of bumps and sort of hollows and where if you cross trial it you go one way and then the other um 
you, you don't have that uh, you don't have that happening and, and realistically you should be cross trailing every ceiling um o- almost every ceiling i will cross trail uh, and the the sooner you do it in the process the better uh, the, the the longer you leave it the more chance that there's a, some a hollow that you you're not going to be able to fill out um you know you're not going to be able to fill out say the last trial because obviously it's um it's already set you know so the earlier you do it the better um and then so the the likes of you, you can see all over the wall there the red wall especially um that was the other guy so it was the he, he left the wall stinking um i scraped there was hundreds of snatters all over the wall it's just bits of plaster that's fell fell off um yeah th- thousands of them everywhere I, I had to scrape them all off the guards carpet was covered in plaster and uh, it was it was disgusting like did anybody get leave um sort of worked that way you know i just don't i don't get it at all um yeah so as I said before in a, a previous video, um, I've started another channel, which is going to be sort of like a Ferrari channel. Um, I'm actually going to put the link in the description of this video, because this is going to be this week is going to be um, the very first video is going to be put up. Uh, the first video is going to be a gaming video. So if if you're not interested, um, if you don't like listening, tell me ramble. Well while i do things you know maybe maybe not the best idea to go but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys um i hope you've enjoyed i'm just gonna put a, a little bit of music here over over the end um again uh bash the thumbs up button if you can um subscribe turn on the notifications um hit the bell um and that's it for this video guys thanks i'll see you in the next one